And California is getting slammed yet again by, yes, another atmospheric river. We had a big one the end of last week. Uh, just after what we wrapped up, we're right back in the thick of it. Now, the placement of this is slightly northern than what we dealt with last week, but still impacts for Northern California. Now, conditions are gonna go downhill on Tuesday. Unfortunately, the southern trajectory of this atmospheric river puts back into place that were involved with the deadly atmospheric river that we had set up the end of last week. Here's a look at the timing. So 4 p.m. today, we're kinda in the thick of it from San Francisco up to the north. Once we go into the overnight hours on Tuesday, this is when it starts to get complicated because, again, we have more of a push through central portions of California, which were hit hard, uh, you know, just a few days ago. We have the heavy rain, the mountain snow. It continues. And again, this is an atmospheric river, so these are mild temperatures. So we're yet again going to have some rain that's falling on top of some snowpack. Wednesday, we kind of shut things off. Things get better. So, again, we just have to get through the next two days where it's really tough stuff. Redding, California, two to three inches of rain. But look at San Luis Obispo, another three to five. This is an area that was hit really, really hard, and now we're going to stack on another three to five inches of rain. Wind is a huge component. Keep in mind that we are very saturated, so strong wind gusts could easily bring down a tree, especially eucalyptus trees, which are so famous from San Francisco up towards Sacramento down towards Monterey. Those eucalyptus trees have very shallow root structures, and so they come over quite easily. We do have winds that will be gusting, you know, 30 to 40 miles per hour in San Francisco, and the winds stay elevated all the way through the time frame. They're actually going to be worse on Tuesday as we start to get that taste of the low pressure moving through northern parts of California. That's when the Sierra will just unleash. We're talking about wind gusts along the ridge of the Sierra easily getting above 60 to 70 miles per hour. That's where we'll have those highest wind gusts is really up in the higher terrain. Sacramento rain for today and tomorrow. Again, the light at the end of the tunnel is going to be Wednesday, 60 degrees with partly cloudy skies. With all the rain that's been coming down, the rapid snow melt, the Sacramento River is running high fast and furious, so just make sure that you stay away from the edge and watch those local creeks. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.